Hi, I'm Gary Boss, the Marketing Director for Audio Technica, and I'm here at Sonic Electronics talking about ribbon microphones. Now, ribbon mics are prized for their warm, natural sound, and many consider them to be the purest form of transducers. And actually, uh, these fall within the dynamic microphone category. So essentially what we have in a ribbon microphone is we have two very strong magnets that are placed on either side of a super thin strip of conductive material and what we use is a pure aluminum. Now this material is very light and responds uh, very quickly to just very little air pressure. But unlike the wound coil of a traditional mic that you have to drive around, the ribbon movement uh, cuts through this magnetic field and doesn't have much mass. The way that ribbon microphones work, they tend to be very preamp dependent. Now, Audio Technica in their 4081, which I'm holding here, this is actually a phantom powered ribbon microphone. So the uh, microphone itself has a small built in uh, preamp in it, which will drive longer cable runs and makes it much less dependent on, on preamps that you would use externally. While there are pluses to ribbon microphones, there are some drawbacks. Because the ribbon material is very thin and has a large surface area, if you actually blow into the mic or use it in a high wind situation, you can actually damage it because it stretches that ribbon material. You also typically don't want to store your ribbon microphone horizontally because the ribbon can actually sag and that can permanently damage it. Um, another common problem with older ribbon microphones is that you don't want to feed them phantom power. This can damage the microphone and this occurs when you plug or unplug a microphone cable with phantom power applied. Now again, because the Audio Technica has 17 patents pending and uh, has a lot of new technology, they are really uh, impervious to the phantom power. Not only that, they actually require it to function, as well as a new proprietary ribbon stamp that we've used on the ribbon material, which makes it much more uh, rigid. We don't have to worry about how you store it. Uh, they're much less likely to damage. So the uh, durability of modern ribbon microphones have really given them a rise in use in live environments, which is traditionally a place that you would never use a ribbon microphone. Uh, again, you know, these are prized for their warm, natural character, work great on guitar cabinets, a lot on horns or as drum overheads. Uh, hopefully this has helped you learn a little bit about ribbon microphone, and thanks for watching.